Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another quick post fight analysis video. All right, y'all. Bellator 252, Kerry Taylor Melendez versus Emily King. I knew this fight was going to be explosive. You got a come forward fighter like Emily King that walks straight in with a lot of pressure. And then you got a very, very uh, accurate puncher in Kerry Melendez. Very solid power in that right hand. And I thought this fight was going to end in a knockout, and it almost did. But Melendez broke down Emily King, and then she was able to step in get on the back get the first round submission via a rear naked choke um very good performance by carrie melendez like i said she's very she's got a lot of power in that right hand and it you know it really makes a it really contributes to the power whenever you got a fighter who's just going to step into punches the way emily king was doing she was walking right into punches and i think that she felt her defense to break melendez down or discourage melendez was just to keep taking these shots but no that's not defense taking a shot's not going to discourage an opponent that has composure and power and accuracy you know they're just, they're just going to keep landing shots and chop you down until you break down you know so in this fight in the opening round carry right away she caught one of emily king's kicks landed two big right hands she started circling landed another big right hand that snapped the head back of emily king landed another big right hand and this was kind of the tone this was the tone that was being set a fighter that comes forward wide open and a fighter like uh, a fighter like Kerry with accurate power shots and again another another right hand land so that's like four in a row you know four big shots land for and you know they're knocking the head back but Emily King's still not moving her head then I say probably after like the fifth or sixth right hand Kerry knew that she could relax a little bit just step side to side and let Emily come to her and land these right hands until she could eventually knock her out but it never crossed Emily's mind like I said to move her head so Kerry just kind of switched levels you know she uh timed some nice right hands to the bot uh to the head even went to the body a couple of times and got some reaction that with those uh body shots uh emily a couple of times whenever she would like get tossed to the ground or she would fall to the ground she tried to lure uh carrie melendez into a ground fight but you know carrie didn't fall for it she just stayed on her feet uh she would step in kind of land some uh carefully land some big hammer fists to the head and you could hear these shots landing like emily king was taking some vicious shots to the head i mean whether it was hammer fists on the ground or it was just like those straight right hands. She was taking these big shots. So I know she was slowly getting broken down. So the chin was there. So Carrie Melendez, she switched levels. Soon as she switched levels and went to the body with that right hand again, that that uh, that right hand body shot really hurt Emily. Emily started to fold up, but to top it off, Carrie landed a hard knee to the body. When she landed that knee to the body, Emily fell down. Carrie locked in on the back. She got the rear naked choke, pulled her back. Emily wanted to hold on, but I think she was just too broken down after taking too many shots to the head and to the body, and she had the tap. I mean, right there, man, very solid fight. You know, you, you can definitely see the levels and skills. Uh, well, let me say this. You can see the different levels here. You know, uh, two different ways I mean that. Levels and skill and levels and striking. You know, uh, levels and skill, I think Carrie, you know, she was just levels above Emily with her, uh, with her uh, skill and her timing and her range but levels carrie was able to switch good levels in this fight you know she would throw a few leg kicks here and there uh throw some nice right hands up top to the head but like i said emily's expecting these these headshots because she knows she's taking a lot of these right hands to the head but as soon as she switched as soon as carrie switched levels and went to that body you see the damage it did it really broke her down she didn't expect the body shot and she went down from the body shot like i said i expected the headshots to knock her out but she had the chin of grant uh, she had that granite chin, but hey, when she took that body shot, it dropped her. You know, it took the uh, took that body shot followed by a knee, and it dropped her. So, levels all around. You know, levels above Emily Clinton King all around. Shout out to uh, Carrie Melendez. Very solid finish. Um, I think you know she's ready to take on another straw weight in the division. Somebody like Danny Nealon, honestly. You know, I know that um, she's five and zero now, and Danny Nealon I think is like three and zero. But I think that would I think that would be kind of an explosive fight. You know, Danny Nealon She's another fighter that likes to come forward, puts on a lot of pressure, but she has accurate striking. You know, she has accurate striking and she has a solid chin as well. So I'd like to see how her chin would stand up to the power of Carrie Melendez. And would that be like a good firefight for like three rounds? But yeah, man, that's all I got on this guy. I definitely check this fight out. It's on the uh, Bellator's YouTube channel. It's the latest uh, uh, prelims card again. So just check it out there. It's like, I think it's like the second to the last fight, but definitely solid performance by Carrie Melendez. She definitely earned that, that, um, first round submission just by you know very precise accurate punches and patience but yeah that's all i got guys combo breaker 99 i'm out subscribe peace